Hi, second graders. Today is Holy Thursday, and I thought it might be fun to do something creative today with you to prepare for the celebration on Sunday, which is Easter. So I found this online, and I thought we could make some cute little Easter chicks. Now, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a piece of orange construction paper, but don't worry. If you don't have it, then make sure that you have some white construction paper. I would suggest you have at least two or three pieces of white construction paper. You also could use yellow construction paper, but I'm going to just use white and I'm going to color it yellow. You also need a pencil, black marker, yellow crayon. So why don't you pause this video and go get the materials you need and then come right back. All right, I'm gonna show you what to do. First, you're gonna to need to have the white construction paper and put it on a flat surface. Now, you could trace your own hand or you could have someone in your house trace your hand. So, I'm going to move this chair back and I'm going to actually put my hand on this piece of paper. Let's see if I can go like this. And it's even okay if it's upside down, whatever works for you. And I am going to carefully trace my hand. Now after you trace your hand, you're just going to want to kind of make the lines connect. The second job is you're going to want this facing you now. Now I did see that some people put googly eyes, but I don't have googly eyes at my house right now. So I'm going to use a black marker and I'm just going to create some eyes on this thumb. And remember with art, it's never wrong. That's the beauty of art. Then you'll need a yellow crayon. Now I'm just going to color it all yellow and it's okay if it's not neat. The neatness will matter when we cut this out. So I'm just gonna color this all in yellow. Just make it nice and bright, like a little Easter chick, the best that you can. Get it as yellow as you can. I'm using a crayon, but you could always use a colored pencil or a marker, but you know me, I prefer the crayon. Then, after that, you're going to need scissors. If you don't have scissors, stop the video and go get some. Right now, I'm going to cut my hand out. And there's no wrong way to do this because it's art. So I'm cutting out the little chick's hand. Let's see. Yep, it's turning out good. Now if there's any lines you don't like on it or if there's little pieces you wanna trim a little bit, like I don't like my finger right there, a little too pointy for me so you can round it any way you want that looks better to me and there's my little chick but he still doesn't look quite right so I'm gonna take orange construction paper now if you don't have orange you could always take a piece of white construction paper and color it orange but I'm going to go to this little side and see it I'm gonna just snip it off Then I'm gonna look at the beak and I'm going to put it on here. If I don't like the size, I can trim it, but I actually like the size. So now I'm going to need my glue stick 
I'm gonna put a little dab of glue on here. And I'm gonna put my beak on. Oh yeah, he's looking good. All right, so now the hard part, the egg. See this egg? Well, you've learned fractions last week. So here's what you're gonna need to do. You're gonna take a white piece of paper and I want you to fold it in half. Not hot dog style, hot dogs are long skinny. You're gonna do hamburger style. Hamburger styles are, are uh, thicker. And then make sure your sides are even, mine are not. And before I do anything else, um, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna place that half piece of paper on my chick and I can see that it's gonna be perfect. And now I need to kind of make like an egg. It doesn't matter how large you want it, it's up to you, but I'm gonna make mine just kind of round. But then eggs, you know, when you crack them, they have little jaggedy edges. Again, there's no wrong way to do it, it's art. Make it look the way you wish. It's all right if it's not perfect. Then I'm going to cut it out. And I'm going to trim the little jaggedy edges at the top. See it? And it's going to open. Now I can take the back side and place it behind my chick. Close it, make sure I like it. Oh, I like it. And so now I'm gonna use some glue. So I'm gonna put some glue on the back side of the egg. Hear the words, the back side of the egg. I'm going to place it behind my chick. And look, my egg opens and closes. Now, um, my daughter Olivia suggested if you have green construction paper, you could even create some grass and put some grass in the back. Or maybe you wanna glue your chicks and put them on another piece of construction paper and make a scene, an Easter scene out of it. Or if you're like me, I just like them the way they are. And you could go hang them around your house or put them on a bulletin board or spread some Easter um, cheer at your house. Well, kids, that's my art project for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. I really miss you all, and I hope you're doing well and that you're safe and healthy, and we'll talk soon. And may you have a beautiful Easter and a beautiful Easter vacation and break at home. Bye.